if you are diabetic or pre-diabetic, you have probably been told that Diet Coke or Coke Zero or all the diet drinks out there is your guilt-free, sugar-free ticket to satisfying your sugar cravings. What if I told you that that could be a metabolic trap and avoiding sugar today may sabotage your metabolic health tomorrow? Please allow me to explain. My name is Dr. Enin, doctorate pharmacist and a functional medicine doctor. And again, welcome to the channel. In the video going around, there's the claim that Coke Zero is good or maybe good for diabetics because it has zero sugar, zero calories, and doesn't spike your blood glucose. Sounds like a win, right? But like always, the human body is not that simple, especially when it comes to diabetes and metabolic health. So what does the science actually say? Blood sugar is just one piece of the puzzle. Long-term metabolic health depends on insulin response, gut microbiome balance, appetite control and cellular health and artificial sweetness may not spike your blood sugar today but they can affect deeper metabolic systems so what makes this artificial sweetness the diet coke the coke zero the diet sprite and all the diet drinks out there dangerous for our metabolic health first thing is the insulin response as we take in or consume these diet cokes and diet pepsis and all those diet drinks it tricks our metabolism to think that sugar is on its way. So what it does is it doesn't spike because the brain tastes sugar. The brain tastes sugar, craves for sugar and causes insulin spike. So it tricks the body to think that sugar is on its way. And for that reason, it spikes insulin. Let's keep in mind with type two diabetes, the primary driver is insulin resistance. That is too much insulin, too much glucose and the cells are rejecting both glucose and insulin and that's why we have high levels of glucose in the blood so that is the primary driver in type 2 diabetes so if you are taking in something like coke zero which doesn't spike your blood sugar right up front but it causes insulin rise it causes further damage to your metabolic health because it increases and pushes insulin resistance and even if you are not diabetic it can affect you it can increase your insulin resistance Keep in mind, it takes 10 years or 15 years for insulin resistance to manifest by way of pre-diabetes and eventual diabetes. So diabetes doesn't happen overnight. Pre-diabetes doesn't happen overnight. So insulin resistance, which affects about 90% of the population in the world, is a driver of all these metabolic issues. So when you are taking in these drinks, in essence, you are damaging or causing more metabolic issue because of its mode of operandi, its mechanism of action. It doesn't spike glucose, but it spikes insulin at the back end and makes things worse. Another way these drinks affect us is that it destroys our gut microbiome. In the gut, we have microbes or microorganisms that are beneficial to us. This good bacteria that is in our gut, some of them is responsible for our immune system. We have ones that is responsible for glucose control. We have one that is responsible for inflammation. We have one that is responsible for cellular health. So once we take in or we consume the diet Cokes and the diet Pepsis and all the Coke Zeros out there, what happens is that we cause an imbalance in this normal flora in our gut. Once there's this imbalance, we don't have the substrates. We don't have the tools. We don't have the requisite tools to deal with this. And for that reason, it causes blood sugar spike, it causes systemic inflammation, it affects our immune system, it affects our body as a whole. Keep in mind, just about every condition emanates from the gut, and that's because of these good bacteria. So once we consume Diet Coke, we destroy our gut. We get rid of the good bacteria, the microbes, that is responsible for glucose control and inflammation and metabolism. So when we consume this, we shouldn't just focus on the immediate blood sugar not being spiked, but the damages that it causes. So once the gut is disrupted, it worsens blood sugar control, it causes higher inflammation, and it increases our cravings. So swapping sugar for chemicals may not be the shortcut it appears to be. So here is the irony. Consuming artificial sweetness may disrupt the brain reward system, leading to stronger cravings for real sugar and carbohydrates later. So ever wondered why 
some people are struggling with weight and all these metabolic issues but they are on diet coke and other drinks this could be part of the problem so what are the better options for diabetics when it comes to sugar cravings first we need to put priority on hydration mineral water sparkling water black coffee herbal teas these are all good things that we can do and if we need to satisfy our sugar cravings then we can opt for stevia and monk fruits and aloes based sweetness like that of true green foods in the brand of nacha and rio and also we want to address the root causes of the issue keep in mind managing diabetes requires a holistic approach so we need to put emphasis on low carb nutrition exercise stress reduction sleep because true metabolic health means lowering insulin resistance not just masking it with sugar-free chemicals to wrap these up coke zero might not spike your blood sugar today but calling it good for diabetics ignores the complex hidden effect on insulin gut health and cravings short-term satisfaction maybe long-term metabolic sabotage very possible so before you make coke zero your daily diabetic hack please allow me to explain that the real solution lies in restoring your body's natural metabolic balance not fooling with artificial sweetness and this is another pearl of health wisdom if you found this content helpful please smash the like button share and subscribe and let's keep exposing myths and build real metabolic solutions one truth at a time thanks for watching i will see you in the next video